welcome so we came for new session this is advanced abundance fine art session yeah so today we are going to learn something different medium and each day is filled or uh, full with excitement and i am also really excited to share with you many of you may be know something what i am going to teach you and many of you may be know little bit but little bit in a different angle you don't know so today we are going to learn the medium one medium very common medium that is oh, we call gypsum powder and in common language we call that is pop means plaster of paris so what is the use of plaster of paris in this fine art mural section okay the relief texture section so here first i will explain what is the method of using this gypsum powder then we go ahead so first let me show you what are these materials this is a oh, gypsum powder we call plaster of paris that other country people they uh, call gypsum powder that's why i tell both the name okay so for practice i bring this is a uh, company some royal gold good quality and 1 kg packet even i have 5 kg packet also because i work more and more then you need some fabricol any fabricol i have blue bond you can use any fabricol you need one bowl to mix the paste then some tools are like that brush knife okay some toothpick a piece of comb these are we are going to play and this is one small plastic simple container not very high small or you can take carton box also i have showed you carton box so right now i don't have carton box i have this so i have taken this even you can use soap box that dove soap there is nice a small carton box no so soap box also you can use then we need some uh, wooden board for now uh, this uh, session i take this wooden board is small any you can take big or anything hard board at least is should be hard board and water and then cloth to wipe your hand okay so now first first now you have to note down okay what i am going to show you your two different way of using this plaster of paris i am going to show first method we are using only this uh, gypsum plaster of paris with water yeah and we don't mix anything then later on i tell you what is the difference and in a second method i am going to use plaster of paris with water plus fabricol so difference is what why we are using in a two different way that you going to know after this completing this session so let's come we start making with water so come here so i'm going to open this packet okay and taking this bowl so first what i do i add little bit water in this okay not too much some this much too much i'm throwing little bit water okay only water if you see i keep all this side now pop this plaster of paris i am adding slowly slowly at least two and see if i'm mixing how it looks let me show you it still need some more so i don't add uh, use this spoon now you using some dry spoon okay and adding some pop okay so see this is still this is very liquid so when you are making a paste this paste we are going to use for some texture on any surface yeah so i am adding some more here this this much and now see the con consistency and you have to one thing new per uh, student those who have never worked in this pop work very fast because this will start setting hard then you can't work with this okay to so see this is still i want little bit 
it. See this one? And mix very fast. So this is first method mixing only with the water. Okay, this one only with this water. Now I am taking one board and here I am working in a two different part. Like half part I am applying first method then half part second method we do. So now I am applying only half part here. Okay, only half side this side. Okay, and half I will leave like that. We can spread with anything even you can use brush also any flat brush also to spread this nicely okay this one if this is too much we don't need and half i'm leaving because other method i will use on that and why i am doing this you will know later see. so here now we can see the texture this any method you can use so a comb like a comb we can do some texture like this okay then some if you want some jumble texture then you can do like this way whatever you like texture you can use then if you want tapping texture like this way with the brush you can do tapping okay. these things so and even with the spoon also you do some tapping like this way but little after getting little hard now this is very liquid but comb texture you get nice effect this comb texture and this is only with the water that you uh, keep in mind and write down only with the water and here i am writing this is one number okay so i am writing with means so we can with uh, some thing okay so this is one number yeah this part we do second uh, after this so this is one number is you write down plaster paris only with the water and second number texture when we add fevicol that i am showing you and then we see the difference after drying now what we do this part has done now i have this empty bowl okay so if you take even if you can take a box of some uh, small soap box so i am going to fill this what you do right now i don't have oil otherwise you can apply the oil and that is more easy i am making one block for making a block you can fill this in this part now first i am making one more little more paste yes i have opened some so fast i am making because okay this one I have 5 kg packet also, so I am using fast this. So, this is only with the water, no fericol. So, one we have done texture, second one we are doing making a some POP block. What is the use that you know later? Why I am making this? So, you can add in this. If you have a box, you add in this, okay, and just I am mixing in this only, or you can now settle, make it settle, see, so what we have done? One is filling that any carton or any flat thing. So at least one inch thickness I have filled this and one texture. So both these things we have only mixed with the water and plaster of Paris. Okay. So now what we do? We allow this to dry. Okay. This will dry and then we come back in the next session and we see what is the difference. And that time we work with the using the fabricol also. Okay, so let this dry at least for 2 to 3 hours. Then only we, I am going to show you how to remove this. With this block, we can remove it. Okay, so now let this dry. Yeah, so thank you. Bye.